Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss an update. Today, we're diving into a crucial topic for all the men out there who are thinking about tying the knot. Yep, we're talking about marriage. Specifically, five essential lessons every man should learn before taking that big step. Let's get started. Before we jump into the lessons, I want to share a little bit about my journey. A few years ago, I thought I had it all figured out. I was in love, had a good job, and felt ready to settle down. But like many men, I realized there were a lot of things I needed to understand and work on before getting married. Through my experiences, both the highs and the lows, I've learned some invaluable lessons. And today, I want to share these with you. Not just because they've helped me, but because I truly believe they can help you build a strong, lasting marriage. Marriage is one of the most significant commitments you'll ever make. It's a journey of love, growth, and partnership. It's about building a life together, supporting each other through thick and thin, and growing both as individuals and as a couple. It's not always easy, but the rewards are immeasurable. When I first got married, I quickly realized that I had a lot to learn. There were moments of joy, but also moments of doubt and conflict. Looking back, I wish someone had shared these lessons with me earlier. That's why I'm here today, hoping to provide you with some insights that can make your journey smoother and more fulfilling. I want you to know that these lessons aren't just theoretical, they're based on real experiences and real struggles. They come from a place of wanting to see you succeed in your marriage. So whether you're about to propose, already engaged, or just considering the idea of marriage, these lessons are for you. All right, let's dive into the five lessons every man should learn before getting married. Trust me, understanding these will make a world of difference in your relationship and help you build a solid foundation for a lifetime of happiness. Is key. Communication is key. Now, I know you've probably heard this a thousand times, but let me tell you a story that really drove this home for me. When I first got married, I thought I was a pretty good communicator. I mean, I talked to my wife, we shared our thoughts, and everything seemed fine. But there was this one time early in our marriage when things got really tough. I had a particularly stressful week at work, and instead of talking about it, I just kept everything inside. I thought I was protecting my wife from my stress, but in reality, I was just creating distance between us. One evening, we had a small disagreement that blew up into a huge argument. It wasn't about anything major, just who forgot to take out the trash. But the underlying issue was my bottled up stress. My wife felt like I was shutting her out, and she was right. That night, after things calmed down, we sat down and really talked. I shared what was going on at work and how overwhelmed I felt. She listened, and we both realized that we needed to improve how we communicated, especially during tough times. From that day on, we made a pact to always talk about what was on our minds, no matter how trivial or heavy it seemed. We learned to express our feelings honestly and to listen to each other without judgment. It wasn't about solving each other's problems, but about being there and understanding what the other person was going through. Here's the deep message. Communication is not just about talking. It's about connecting. It's about being vulnerable and open with each other, creating a safe space where both of you can share your innermost thoughts and feelings. This kind of communication builds trust and intimacy, the bedrock of any strong relationship. Think of it this way. Communication is like the glue that holds your relationship together. Without it, small cracks can turn into big rifts. But with it, you can weather any storm together. So, make it a habit to check in with each other regularly. Share your joys, your fears, your dreams, and your frustrations. And remember, it's not just about speaking, but also about listening, truly listening, with empathy and without interrupting. Lesson two, financial responsibility. All right, moving on to lesson number two, financial responsibility. This one can be a bit tricky, but it's absolutely crucial for a healthy and stable marriage. Let's face it, 
Money can be a major source of stress in any relationship. If not handled well, it can lead to arguments, resentment and even major rifts. I remember when my wife and I first started merging our finances. We were excited about the future but quickly realized we had different approaches to money. She was a saver, meticulously budgeting every dollar, while I was more of a spontaneous spender, often treating myself without much forethought. It didn't take long for us to have our first big argument about finances. One month, I went overboard on some tech gadgets and she found out when she was balancing the checkbook. She felt blindsided and I felt attacked. It was a rough evening, but it led to one of the most important conversations we ever had. We sat down and laid all our cards on the table, literally. We looked at our income, our expenses, our debts and our financial goals. From that day on, we started budgeting together. We created a shared spreadsheet and had monthly finance meetings to review our spending, savings and upcoming expenses. We also agreed on a discretionary spending amount for each of us. Money we could spend however we liked. No questions asked. This gave us both a sense of freedom and control. Here's a deep message. Financial transparency and planning aren't just about avoiding debt or saving for a rainy day. They're about building a future together and respecting each other's values and priorities. Money talks can be uncomfortable, but they're necessary for mutual respect and trust. Think of financial responsibility as laying the groundwork for your shared dreams. Want to buy a house, travel the world or start a family? All of these require financial planning. By discussing and agreeing on your financial goals, you're ensuring that you're both working towards the same future. This unity can be incredibly bonding. Also, don't forget to talk about the what-ifs. Life is unpredictable, and having a financial safety net can provide peace of mind. Whether it's an emergency fund or life insurance, planning for the unexpected shows that you're looking out for each other being financially responsible also means respecting each other's financial background and habits. Maybe your partner grew up in a family where money was tight and they're naturally more cautious about spending, or maybe they never had to worry about money and don't think twice before splurging. Understanding these perspectives can help you find common ground and develop a financial plan that works for both of you. In summary, financial responsibility is about more than just numbers. It's about partnership, trust, and building a future together. By being open, honest, and strategic about your finances, you can avoid unnecessary stress and set yourselves up for a successful, harmonious marriage. Lesson three, personal growth and self-awareness. Lesson number three, personal growth and self-awareness. This is one of the most important yet often overlooked aspects of preparing for marriage. Many people think that getting married means they will somehow magically become better versions of themselves. But the truth is, you need to work on yourself continuously, both for your own well-being and for the health of your relationship. Let me share a personal story. Before I got married, I used to think that all my personal issues would just disappear once I was with the right person. I thought love would fix everything. But soon after getting married, I realized that my insecurities and bad habits didn't just vanish, they actually became more pronounced. For example, I had a tendency to avoid conflict. Whenever there was a disagreement, I would shut down and avoid addressing the issue, hoping it would just go away. This led to a lot of unresolved tension and frustration between my wife and me. It wasn't until I started working on my own personal growth that I learned how to handle conflict in a healthy way. I began to invest in myself by reading books on personal development, attending workshops, and even seeing a therapist. These steps helped me understand my triggers and taught me healthier ways to cope with stress and communicate my feelings. The more self-aware I became, the better I was able to contribute to our relationship. Here's a deep message you can't pour from an empty cup. If you're not taking care of yourself and growing as an individual, you won't be able to fully support and love your partner. Marriage is about two whole individuals coming together to form a stronger unit, 
not two halves trying to make a whole. Think about your strengths and weaknesses. What areas of your life could use improvement? Maybe it's your communication skills, your emotional intelligence, or even your physical health. Commit to a journey of continuous self-improvement. It's not about becoming perfect. It's about striving to be the best version of yourself. Personal growth also means being aware of your mental and emotional state. It's okay to seek help if you're struggling. Mental health is just as important as physical health. If you're dealing with anxiety, depression, or any other mental health issues, addressing them is crucial for your well-being and for your relationship. Being open about these struggles with your partner can also build deeper trust and intimacy. Invest time in your hobbies and passions. Maintaining your individuality is key to a healthy marriage. It's important to have interests and activities that are just for you. This not only keeps you fulfilled, but also brings new energy and excitement into your relationship. Also understand that personal growth is a lifelong journey. You will continue to evolve and so will your partner. Embrace these changes and grow together. Support each other's goals and aspirations. Celebrate each other's achievements and be there during setbacks. In summary, personal growth and self-awareness are essential for a healthy marriage. By continuously working on yourself, you become a better partner and create a stronger, more resilient relationship. Remember, the journey of self-improvement doesn't stop when you say, I do. It's just the beginning. Lesson 4. Teamwork and Partnership Lesson number 4. Teamwork and Partnership This lesson is all about understanding that marriage is a collaborative effort. It's not just about being in love, it's about working together towards common goals and supporting each other through life's ups and downs. When I first got married, I thought that love would naturally translate into perfect teamwork. Boy, was I wrong. I quickly realized that being a good partner takes conscious effort and practice. Let me share an example. One of the earliest challenges we faced was dividing household responsibilities. Growing up, we both had different experiences and expectations about chores. I was used to my mom handling most of the housework while my wife came from a family where everything was shared equally. This led to some misunderstandings and frustration. One Saturday morning, my wife was visibly upset because I had left my clothes all over the floor. Instead of getting defensive, we decided to sit down and talk about it. We realized that we needed a system that worked for both of us. We created a chore chart and agreed to tackle housework together. This simple act of teamwork made a huge difference. It wasn't just about the chores, it was about respecting each other's time and effort. Here's a deep message. Marriage is a partnership where both individuals contribute. It's about sharing the load, both in good times and bad. Whether it's household chores, financial planning or emotional support, working together as a team strengthens your bond and builds trust. Think of marriage as a long-term project where both of you are co-managers. You need to communicate, plan and sometimes compromise. It's about setting common goals and working towards them together. Whether it's saving for a house, planning a vacation or raising children, having shared objectives keeps you united and motivated. One thing I've learned is the importance of recognizing and appreciating each other's contributions. It's easy to take your partner for granted, especially when life gets busy. Make it a habit to express gratitude for the little things. A simple thank you for cooking dinner or handling the bills can go a long way in making your partner feel valued and appreciated. Another aspect of teamwork is supporting each other's individual dreams and ambitions. Just because you're married doesn't mean you stop having personal goals. Encourage each other to pursue your passions and be each other's biggest cheerleaders. When one of you succeeds, you both succeed. Effective teamwork also involves navigating conflicts together. Disagreements are inevitable, but it's how you handle them that matters. Approach conflicts as a team problem rather than an individual one. Instead of trying to win an argument, focus on finding a solution 
that works for both of you. This mindset fosters cooperation and mutual respect. Remember, no team is perfect, and there will be times when one of you has to carry more weight. Life is unpredictable, and sometimes your partner might need extra support. Be there for each other during these times, and know that it's okay to lean on your partner when you need to. In summary, teamwork and partnership are the backbone of a successful marriage. By sharing responsibilities, supporting each other's goals, and navigating challenges together, you build a strong, resilient relationship. Marriage is a journey best traveled together, hand in hand, supporting and uplifting each other every step of the way. Lesson five, respect and appreciation, respect and appreciation. This lesson might seem straightforward, but its impact on a marriage cannot be overstated. Consistently showing respect and appreciation for your partner is the glue that holds a relationship together through the ups and downs. When my wife and I first got married, we were head over heels for each other. Compliments and acts of kindness flowed naturally. But as time went on, the demands of daily life began to overshadow those little gestures. We got caught up in routines and sometimes forgot to acknowledge each other's efforts. This led to a sense of being taken for granted, which can quietly erode a relationship. One day, I noticed my wife looked particularly tired after a long week. Instead of just going about my evening, I decided to surprise her with a simple gesture. I cooked her favorite meal and wrote her a heartfelt note, expressing how much I appreciated everything she did for us. The look on her face when she saw it was priceless. It reminded me that small acts of appreciation could make a big difference. Respect and appreciation go hand in hand. Respect means valuing your partner's opinions, feelings and individuality. It means listening without interrupting, supporting their decisions, and treating them as an equal. Appreciation is about recognizing and expressing gratitude for the things they do, both big and small. Here's a deep message. Consistent respect and appreciation create a positive feedback loop in your relationship. When your partner feels valued and respected, they're more likely to reciprocate, creating a cycle of mutual respect and appreciation. This builds a strong, loving foundation that can withstand any challenge. Think about the last time someone genuinely appreciated something you did. How did it make you feel? Now imagine giving that feeling to your partner regularly. It can be as simple as thanking them for doing the dishes, complimenting them on their appearance, or acknowledging their hard work at their job. These small acts can make your partner feel seen and loved. Respect also means giving your partner space and honoring their individuality. It's important to remember that while you are a couple, you are also two unique individuals with your own needs and interests. Encourage each other to pursue hobbies, spend time with friends, and take personal time when needed. This not only shows respect for their individuality, but also keeps the relationship dynamic and interesting. Another important aspect of respect is handling disagreements gracefully. Disagreements are inevitable, but how you handle them can either strengthen or weaken your relationship. Approach conflicts with a mindset of respect and a desire to understand your partner's perspective. Avoid hurtful words and focus on resolving the issue rather than attacking each other. Expressing appreciation can also be about recognizing the less obvious contributions. Maybe your partner is great at managing finances, keeping the house organized, or supporting you emotionally. These contributions might not always be visible, but they are just as important. Make it a point to acknowledge these efforts and express your gratitude. Remember, appreciation should be genuine. Empty compliments or forced gratitude can come off as insincere. Take the time to really notice what your partner does and how it impacts your life. Genuine appreciation fosters a deeper emotional connection and reinforces the bond between you. In summary, respect and appreciation are essential for a healthy, happy marriage. By consistently valuing and recognizing each other's contributions and individuality, you build a strong, positive foundation. 
This lesson, perhaps more than any other, can transform your relationship and ensure it stands the test of time. Show your partner that they are loved, valued and respected every day and your marriage will thrive. And there you have it, five crucial lessons every man should learn before tying the knot. These aren't just tips, they're foundational principles that can help you build a strong, enduring marriage. As we wrap up today's video, I want to leave you with a final thought. Marriage is more than a ceremony or a legal document. It's a journey that you embark on with your partner. It's about growing together, facing life's challenges hand in hand, and building a future that's rich in love and respect. The lessons we discussed today, communication, financial responsibility, personal growth, teamwork, and respect, are not just one-time checks on your marriage prep list. They are ongoing commitments that you renew every day through your actions and decisions. If you're preparing to get married or if you're already married and looking to strengthen your bond, take these lessons to heart. Reflect on them, discuss them with your partner and put them into practice. Remember the goal isn't to be perfect, but to be present and proactive in nurturing your relationship. For those of you who are watching, I'd love to hear your thoughts. What other lessons do you think are important before marriage? Share your insights and experiences in the comments below. Let's keep the conversation going. Your stories and advice can be a great source of inspiration and learning for everyone in this community. And if you found today's video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and click the bell icon so you won't miss any of our future content. We have a lot more insights, tips and stories to help you build strong, healthy relationships in all areas of your life. Thank you for watching and until next time, keep growing, keep loving and keep moving forward together. Remember, a great marriage isn't something you find, it's something you make one day at a time.